Hi everyone, uh, I'm Jomi Wu and I'm gonna record the video for the question one in homework for uh, for the course uh, probability and stochastic processes. So in this question, the information is given like shown here. So we already know the information about the y, which is gx, and the uh, fx x graph is shown up right here. So. So uh, from the inf information provided by the question, we can draw the function of y right here. So uh, when x is less than 0, the y will equal to 2. So th this line represents this. So and then when x larger than or equal to 0 and less than 1, y will equal to 0. So the, the the graph will shows like this, and then when x is larger than one and larger or equal to one and less than or equal to two, uh, y will equal to negative x plus one. So this line represents that, and then when x is larger than two, the y will equal to negative one. So it basically looks like this, the graph of y, function y. So from the graph, right here we can tell that when y equals to negative 1, so the, this line right here, the probability of y equals to negative 1 is equal to the probability of x larger than 2. So uh, it will be equal to like uh, 1 minus fx2. And at y equals to zero, is right here. The we're gonna we're gonna skip this and tell this line uh, after. So uh, when y equals to zero, is right here. The probability of y equals to zero is equals to uh, x larger than zero and equal, uh, and less than one. So it's right here, and which is equals to f x one minus f x zero. So and then. When y equals to two, the probability of y equals to two is uh, equals to the probability of x less than zero. So it's uh, equals to f x zero. And then we're gonna discuss uh, this part right here. So uh, when y in a range from negative one to zero, y is equals to minus minus x plus one. So we can also write the write the equation right here. So x equals to one minus y. So from the um, from the formula, we can use the formula that uh, f y y equals to f x x divided by uh, the absolute value of uh, derivative of g x. So the derivative of g x, which is uh, right here. So, which is, uh, we take the derivative of the right part, so it's negative 1. So, we take its absolute value, so it's 1. And uh, above, the above part is fx1 y, y, y minus 1. So, since uh, we just uh, uh, we just write the fun uh, equation right here, so x equals to 1 minus 1, so we just uh, put, the, put the part uh, into it into this equation and then we get f y y equals to f x y minus one. So um, we can basically write the uh, information about uh, f y y. So in when y equals to one, negative one, so f y y equals to uh, y minus f x two times the uh, its position function. So it's at one minus one. Uh, at y minus one, and then when y larger than negative one and less than zero, uh, we already get the its function right here. So it's f x y minus one, y minus one, <coughs> and when y equals to zero, uh, it will equals uh, it it will be this f x y minus f x zero times its position is y minus zero. So it's just uh, y. So and then when y equals to 2, it will be like this, fx0 
times its position y minus 2 is represents its this function is at y equals to 2 so and it all equals to 0 at other positions at other range of y so and then we're gonna draw, draw the graph later so and then the we can also uh, get the FYY from the information right here and in order to get the FYY at at the uh, for the range uh, y larger than or equal to negative one and less than zero we're gonna write it uh, write it uh, we're gonna find it out there <coughs> so FYY equals to probability of y minus or y less than or equal to y so it's basically equals to um, probability of y uh, 1 minus x less than or equal to y since uh, we already uh, get it right here we just uh, put this equation into this put this um, part into this equation so we, we get this and then we move the 1 to the right side of this equation and we get uh, it equals to the probability of negative x less than or equal to y minus 1 so and then we just uh, uh, we just uh, divide both sides by negative one, but we're gonna change is right here. So it equals to uh, the probability of x larger than or equals to one minus one, one minus y. Sorry. So and then this equation is actually equals to one minus the probability of x less than or equal to one minus y, since these are uh, this plus this is one, so we can write like this, and then we already uh, we already know this part. So this part is basically uh, we get it from here. So it is equals to one minus f x one minus y. So basically, um, so we find uh, what is uh, the the larger f y y uh, right here. So at this part is equals to this in this range. And in, uh, and y when y less than negative one it will equal to zero, and y when y uh, larger than zero and less than two, it will equals uh, equals to this one minus f x zero, and then when y uh, larger than two it will equals to one. So and right right here, we're gonna draw the graph for uh, since this graph is provided by the question so the fx will look like this so uh, from this from this graph we can basically draw the graph for uh, uh, larger f fx so it starts from zero right here and it increase and it's it increase is uh, increasing rate and then decrease is increasing rate right here when it tends to be one and then you will never uh, reach one, but uh, you will be infinitely, infinitely uh, close to one. So the graph of f y y will be like this. So at the y equals to negative one, it will be like this. So and this area is this part. And then uh, in this range from uh, negative one to zero, uh, it will like uh, it will be f x one minus y. And then at y equals to zero, it will goes up goes up like this, and its area is f x one minus f f x zero. And when y equals to two, it will be like it will be this function f x zero. Its area is this. So and then we can draw the graph for f y y. So one. <coughs> sorry. When y equals to next to one, it will be uh, it will be one minus uh, f x zero. Uh, at first, uh, it, it starts from zero, and then it will be y minus f x. I'm sorry, uh, this part. If it is is f x two, since uh, we got the we go, we find it right here y minus fx y minus uh, y so when y equals to negative one 
<coughs> so this part is fx2. So at that at, at, at this point, its value is one minus fx2. And in this range, it will increase as uh, we calculate right here one minus fx uh, one minus y and one y equals to zero right here. So uh, its value will, will be like one y equals to zero. Of the right part is fxy. So the value will be the value of this point maybe uh, will be one minus fx one, and then one y equals to zero. It will uh, directly goes to this point, and this and in this range it will maintain this value. This value is y minus fx. Zero, and when y reaches two, uh, it's uh, the value for this function will directly went to one, and the height from this this horizontal line and this to this horizontal line will be f x zero. So and this finally uh, it will reach the height of one, and which is. Uh, we can, which is uh, equals to the information we get from the fxx. So thanks for watching.